In this presentation, we will enter personal and business cash outflows from our bank statement into our QuickBooks file for the second month of operations, the month of February. Outflows related to office supplies, entertainment, and charity included. Here we are. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. On the home page, we currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. We're now going to go to our bank register or check register by going to the banking drop down and then selecting the use register item. We're going to be using the checking account, the check register. This is going to be the check register. We've entered data for the first month of operations, January, from the bank statement, and we've started to enter the deposits for the second month of operations, February, from the bank statement. Here is our bank statement. Here's the deposits on the left. We've entered those. Now we're moving to the outflows on the right. We're assuming all the outflows being the electronic type payments rather than checks. If they were checks, we'd have the check numbers as well and they would work much the same so uh, we're just going to enter this data into the system so we'll start back with outback steakhouse this will look much the same to the prior uh, month which is typical this is going to probably look more the same than prior month at least in order of operations but we'll note that as we as we do things over time even on the personal side there'll be a, a lot of repetition and that's one good thing about doing this in quickbooks and checking where we spend money we'll see how repetitious we can be even on on personal types of spending so we'll enter this data it will then save some of the accounts for us making it a lot easier to one assign the accounts accounts in general and two to assign the classes because they'll they'll basically memorize now they won't memorize the classes for us but we're going to use the same method we did in in the deposits this month and that is that we're going to assign the account which will be memorized for most repeated transactions by QuickBooks. We're not going to assign the, a class as we enter the data because it's a little faster not to do so because then we don't need to use the splits item here to enter a transaction for the classes. Then we'll go to the reports, which are already broken out by personal and business by account type, the way we've set this up, and then enter quickly to change to the proper class after we've entered the data see if that's any faster to of a, of a way to enter this information so those will be the differences between the prior month we're going to go to the outback steakhouse that's first first one we got here so that's going to be on 020520 we're going to say e for electronic transfer and then we could select the drop down or drop up whichever way it wants to go but we could also just type in OUT Outback. We've been there before. It is a vendor. It'll auto populate for us. Then I'm just going to select tab. And then we're in the payment section. It was for 130. And then it selects the account for us. Don't let it throw you off that it's selecting restaurant sit down, but it's typing first the parent account or the master account, Z expenses. So we put it under Z expenses and then it gives the sub account, which is the restaurant sit down. So that's the one. It should be there from the prior month. So we should be good. And that should be the routine for most of the transactions we'll have in following months, which is nice. So we'll say highlight that. Next one is going to be business expense, the post office. So we'll go back over here, post office. That happened on the 5th as well. It's going to be E for electronic and it's going to be post. I'm just going to type in post office and this the po that's all i need i'm not going to type a one letter more than is necessary and then tab and it's going to be 150 already going to the post office expense so that looks good again i'm not going to select the splits and assign the class because we're going to do that next time we're going to do that as we run the reports see if that's any faster and then we'll go to the next item crossing that out or highlighting it which is the pizza kitchen. All right, pizza kitchen back over to our accounts. That's going to be on the 7th happened on the 7th. We're going to say it is E for an electronic pizza. I'm just going to type in P I Z Z. And again, we could select the drop up to find it, or we can just start typing it in, which is probably the best way to go. Just make sure that you don't enter two vendors that are basically the same. 
And that would happen, obviously, if we had a, a different beginning name or if they changed the name or if they wrote something a bit different on the bank statement. You want to kind of keep to the bank statement whatever it shows up on the bank statement as because that'll be easier for us to enter. And if we want someone else to enter it, we can give easy instructions to do so. We can just say, hey, just use what's on the bank statement instead of us putting nicknames in there or something. Even though it might be shorter in our minds, it's probably best just to stick to what's on the bank statement. <laughs> and then that's going to be 103. And so once again, it's choosing the account for us. It's in the subcategory of personal. Looks good. Then we're going to go back to our items. We're going to cross this off. And then we've got the corner pub. So corner pub on the 7th. So we're going to say that that's going to be E corner. I'm just going to type in C-O-R and that'll do it. And that's going to be $60. Once again, it's going already for us there. Now you might say, well, what would happen if I went to the corner pub and I had a business meeting there? Well, then you could break them out by classes if you chose to. And or we could set up another account, corner pub business versus corner pub personal, if we want, if we chose to do that. So keep that in mind of course we could split that out with the use of a different class or and or another account for corner pub one being business one being personal splitting out by class and by account so we're going to say okay next item that we're going to have is the american red cross and that's going to be a charitable organization and we want to basically track that because we may need to run that account in order to give to our tax preparer so we're going to put it all into that charitable account that we can then run and give to the tax preparer at the end of the year this is going to be a uh, e and we're just going to say american and american red cross so that's the one and we spent 130 this time so it's going right to where we want it if that's all we need i'm going to enter that one next one we had uh, save the children and that's one 40 another charity I'm just highlighting this one another charity so we've seen that before so these are all repetitive and therefore easy to enter easy to enter and so we're going to say save the children that's 140 it's already going where we want it to go so we're going to say enter on that one next item this one has been entered it's going to be amazon so Amazon, going back over to our accounts, that happened on the 11th. We're going to say E Amazon tab 45. So it went to, and, and this one, we just put it into an Amazon account, personal Amazon account. We could break that out. We could go to Amazon and say, what did we spend money on? Break it out further. Depends on how much detail we want in our bookkeeping. So we're going to do what we did last time and keep it at just a general Amazon account. Then we've got the Epiphone. That's going to be a business expense where we buy stuff and then sell stuff on our business, like guitar stuff. That's what we sell. So that's going to be on the 12th. E, I'm just going to type in Epiphone, and that's going to be 4100. It's going to purchases and resale. That's going to be a business account. That's all we need. We're good. Okay. And then the next item, Audible. That's going to be the last one we're going to enter. Audible is going to be on the... When did that happen? On the 14th. So e. I was typing Audible. Tab. 15. Already there. Now, so you'll note how much faster this went than the first month. Because we had to enter all the vendors. We had to... And we assigned the classes. Granted, this might be a little bit more simplified, of course, because we did use a lot of the similar accounts in the second month. But we will, in practice, use many of the same accounts from month to month. And even if we have to add a few month, few accounts on the second month, by the time we're on the third month or so, then we're pretty much standardized. Most of the stuff we're entering is going to be fairly repetitive, and we'll, we'll start to see that and, and realize that. So now we're going to go and reclassify these and go to our reports. We're going to go to company and financial and take a look at the profit and loss by class. Profit and loss by class. And we're going to change the dates from 
oh two oh one uh two zero two oh two twenty nine two zero that's february 1st 2020 to february 29th 2020 now this unclassified area anything that's in unclassified needs to be classified and then this unclassified will go away and it's going to be easy for us to do because we've grouped everything into personal under this little item for personal so every time everything i click on within there everything we click on within here we need to categorize to personal so we can just f put our mind to brain dead mind you know set we don't need to think in other words to do this we'll just double click on it and make all these personal and then we could just double click on this one this is all business stuff and this is business stuff so every so therefore we can i can just go into here and say okay this is business because it's not under the personal expense category and so everything in here i know it's just going to be business so i'm just going to go okay double click double click takes me to the deposit screen uh or i'm sorry the check screen rather than to the register and that gives me a nice easy place to, to put my information here and i'm just going to say b for business save and close yes yes close that out i'll do the same so that went to the business line just what we expect and i'm only in february and that's going to just show me the information for this month but even if we did january and february the stuff in unclassified would just be February because that's the only stuff that's not classified is the new stuff that we just put in there. And then we've got the postage, which is business because it's not under the personal stuff. So we'll just double click on postage, double click on it, classes, business, save and close. Okay. Okay. And close that out. And then all this stuff I know is going to be personal. So I'm just going to, I'm just, I can not even really think about it. Everything I'm going to open up in here, I'm just going to assign to the class personal. Wherever I see the class field on the checks, because they're all going to be checks, I'll put the personal. So we'll double click on it. Now also note that you might be thinking, well, these aren't actual checks. They were electronic transfers. And that's okay. Any kind of thing that's going out of the, out of the checking account, QuickBooks has to assign a form to. So they call it, they, they, they would think of it as an e-check or something like that. We, we still use the check form, even though it's an electronic transfer. That may be popping into some people's minds. But in any case, we're going to double click on the 45 and go into the cache and say that's personal. Personal. Save and close. And close that out. And then we'll do the same. for. So that went over to the personal side now. And then these are all personal because they're under the personal accounts they're sub personal accounts the master z expenses personal so we'll go into 15 double click on that p for personal in the classes save and close and the next item this is going to be charitable it's in the personal so we'll just double click on it but there's two of them in there that's okay double click on one of them classes p for personal save and close and then the next one, same thing, double click on it. Classes, P for personal, save and close. And then we'll close out of this one. Next item, those have been transferred over. We're going to go to the 60, it's still under the personal account. And therefore, we can just double click on it, double click on it. Find the classes, P for personal, that's the one, save and close. Yes, yes, close. Next item, the 233 restaurants, restaurants, I think I spelled that right. Two of them in there, we're going to double click on it. Classified, pay for personal, save and close. Yes, yes, one more, one more, and then we have to stop this. Classified, pay for personal, save and close. That was great. And we'll close this out. Now we should have the unclassifieds gone because they're all classified and therefore nothing is unclassified and there then is no need for an unclassified column. Everything now in the business and uh, personal and we'll go on from there next time. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.